that Dave Leto foreshadowed, and he's seen it more times than not. Close games against Xavier, Providence, Northwestern, the first Butler game where his team was in it. Great way to stop a run right side is Creighton doesn't get a high percentage of offensive rebounds because Greg McDermott told me he doesn't believe in it. He wants to get back in transition D. So he'll only send maybe two guys, two and a half guys to the offensive glass. Marks picks off the pass intended for Epperson, and Epperson looks like he's gassed. Well, he can't be in great shape having missed every game except the last two. This being his third game. He can't simulate gameplay. <laughs> In the road, Blues. And by manage the clock, what Dave Lado meant, his team needs to take good shots, look for better shots. They don't have to rush. Martin McCourt in conference play. You know, they haven't lost yet, and they have the ability to steal a couple on the road. And as uh, the guys above them start to lose, they've got ample opportunity to climb that ladder. Going to finish with five of their last seven games. In Omaha, as Marge goes for Thomas now on Eli Kane. Marge with the offense. Swinging it around. Epperson on the other side. Another turnover. That is number 11 for Creighton. First of this second half. That's approximately the season average. Marge going on the freshman. And Martin Marge had not gone down. It didn't. Yeah, they would have voted often, early and often. <laughs> oh, my. Marich finds the double the arc. So that 50% is right on the mark. Marich got his own rebound up again with the left hand and mark. To back possessions, you don't know what to feel. They haven't done that all game. <laughs> Foreign territory. <laughs> Suarez. Now look at the defense loading up with Marge. He's got to find guys just like that. that Paul Foregone conclusion that Virginia will be named number one. It's still got to get through this next, this upcoming weekend. Mm -hmm. I mean, but this is what it's all about. The mighty can falter and the underdog can rise to the occasion. Just a three-point lead for Creighton. They go down low. Marge who's had a great game. Going on Suarez. A little sky hook with the right hand. That shooter's roll. In a tie game right now as DePaul has been able to withstand every single run that Creighton has gone on today. Yeah, they adhere to Dave Lato's encouragement to hit back when you're hit and not to fall apart because somebody makes a run. March on Hegner. Test. And you got to be careful. A quick shot is usually the first pass on the opponent's fast break. And Foster got right. Going to stand still. 6-0 run as Harrell misses the jump. The, the kick. And as long as you're forcing the defense and challenging the defense, you get a good look, you take it if you're DePaul. That's done a nice job converting into 16 points off of those turnovers. 16 to 11 at the moment. Tough turnaround by Foster. Great defense. 15 for Marin March. Marcus Foster, quick release. Rimmed in and out. March grabs the rebound, and he was fouled. As Adam. And yeah, March, very good free throw shooter, knocks down the first. You don't want to get in a foot race with Creighton. There are not a lot of teams that survive foot races. March 